Hello everyone, today I will be talking about still lifes and the paintings that I have uh, seen. Alright, today we're going to be talking about Still Life with Bowl of Citrons by uh, Giovanna Gerzoni and Still Life with Apples by Paul Chizan. Now let's talk about Giovanna Gerzoni's first. Um, she spent most of her professional career as an artist for rich patrons such as Medici family, which explains her refined interpretation of plants and animals, which can be clearly seen in her works, such as the figs and still life with a Chinese plate. Um, you can also see that her works are well known for using fruits, flowers, birds, and insects which you can see on our painting as well, uh, the still life with bowl of citrons, which she made in around 1640s. You can see that the uh, bright foreground and dark background puts the spotlight on the bowl of lemons. There are a few straight lines, while there's abundancy, there's an abundancy in curved and bumpy lines which emphasizes on the natural imperfections of nature. Next let's talk about the main theme of the painting which is the life cycle, the aging and death. Um, we all, we see, he's, here we see the seed which usually signifies hope but here it just acts as the start of a new life. Then you have the young and smooth green lemons on the upper part of the bowl, followed by the yellow ripe lemons in the foreground, uh, followed by the bumpy aged uh, lemons in the background. You can see all the bumps in it. There's a lot more bumps than the ripe ones. And then finally, you have the old and rotten lemons in the foreground of the painting right beside the seeds which have turned uh, brown to, uh, due to age. We can also see aging and death or the life cycle through the flowers. You have the flower buds that haven't uh, bloomed yet. Then you have the flower that has slightly bloomed followed by the flower that has completely bloomed and finally you have it where it's laying on the table, it's fallen and it's on its uh, way to wilting. You can also observe uh, some symbols of aging and death through the, the, brown co the brownish colored leaves and the worn, the worn down uh, bowl. You also have the huge contrast between the foreground and the background, which juxtaposes the idea of uh, life and death. Life being the foreground bright and lively, while the background is just pure black and darkness, which signifies death. Next, let's talk about uh, Paul Cezanne's other works and his background. Um, he was a well-known French post-impressionist artist who focused on the study of human visual perception and cubism. In his late years, he was riddled with depression due to the loss of his mother in 1897, and his illness did not, but it did not stop him from making the best art pieces of his life. And it was also around this time where he started uh, making still paintings, such as the still life with milk and jug and fruit, milk jug and fruit, the still life with apples and peaches, and also the painting that we want to talk about today, which is a still life with apples, made in 1905. There are two distinguishing features in this artwork. The lines connect each object to the other, which makes it easier to look at. Second, he maintained a very smooth and soft texture on the entirety of the painting, which gave 
his painting, A Sense of Comfort and Stability. You can also see the effects of cubism in the painting as he pretty much br broke down every object into their basic natural shapes without much details. So yeah, unlike Garzoni, he uh, focused on studying perspectives instead of putting meanings into the objects and the composition. So first let's focus on the containers. The white jar is closed, so we cannot see inside it at all. But the perspective, and also the perspective doesn't allow us to look into it. There's not much shadows and all that. Uh, to the left of it, um, actually to the top of it, you have the uh, white and blue jar, which we can slightly see through it, but the lighting and the perspective doesn't allow us to see more into it. And then you have the green jar to the left of it, which we can see more into because the light, the lighting allows us to. And then finally, you have the wine bottle, which we can see through as it is transparent and the lighting permits to see it. You also have the contrast between the the perspective on the white sheet and the black and blue sheet. The white sheet is folded. There's a lot more angles to look into it. And the study of perspective, you can see clearly see it through the foldings and the shadows and how each shadow was made through the lighting and perspective itself, the viewpoints. Meanwhile, the blue and black sheet, you can't see much into it because it's more laid out and there's not much shadows to be made with, together with the lighting. Finally, you have the apples, which gives us the most uh, noticeable element of perspectives. He definitely made use of the apples, studied the apples and how perspective makes it so that we see it in different ways. He definitely painted all the apples at a different angle so he can study more about how perspective goes into how it's shaped and how it's formed in paintings. So yeah, in conclusion, I definitely appreciate uh, both artists. I think they presented a very enjoyable uh, style of art with different approach depending on the times they were alive. Garzoni lived in a time where aristocrats enjoyed the deep meanings in paintings, while Cezanne lived in an era where artists focused on impressionism and cubism. So yeah, thank you very much.